And there's a look south towards Old Montreal. And hey everyone, it is Thursday, February 2nd. The time is 12.06 p.m. and the temperature right now is around minus three degrees Celsius. I'm here on the very slush-filled streets of Montreal. And this here is Chinatown. I came through here on a walk last night. And what I'm gonna do is just head a few blocks east here over to St. Laurent Boulevard. And then I'm gonna go for a walk north up St. Laurent. And I'm planning on finishing at Mont Royal. And from there, I'm going to do a walk through the Plateau neighborhood. And there's a neat Lunar New Year decoration coming up just on the left. And you have to be extremely careful walking around these streets. I've already seen a few people slip and fall. And I haven't even been here a day. So I might be walking a little slower than usual on these Montreal walks. And the street here is St. Laurent. towards Old Montreal. And I did a walk through Chinatown a year and a half ago in July. So if you're curious as to what this area looks like in the summertime, you can check that video out. So that is the Arts and Entertainment District. I'll be passing by soon. As well as a small part of what's left of the Red Light District. I'll be going by an area known for its bars and street murals. And being the dummy that I am, I did not bring boots on this trip. But I do have these fairly warm and what they refer to as weatherproof shoes, my Allbirds. And the street here is Rene Levesque. The Zero One Hotel. I almost stayed there. And 
and the financial district would be off in the distance. So St. Laurel Boulevard here is a major commercial artery and cultural heritage site here in Montreal. That's one of the reasons I chose it. As I'm only here really just for today and tomorrow morning and early afternoon. I managed to live stream up part of St. Laurel last time here. I didn't make any videos. And the street starts to the south of here at the St. Lawrence River. That would be in the opposite direction. So this area here is often referred to as being a bit of a red light district. Cafe Cleopatra, a unisex disco. Candy ass love, COVID style. Wonder what goes on in there. Got a theater across the street. So in on the left here is the quarter day spectacles. And I apologize for my terrible French pronunciation. That would be a pedestrianized strip of St. Catherine Street that runs through the arts and entertainment area. And there's where I had a Montreal smoked meat and poutine last night. Restaurant La Belle Province. I think it was the Canadian government that actually declared this area to be a heritage site. These are <laughs> super treacherous sidewalks. And the place they art. just over there. That's the main performance theater in the city. And just on that side is the St. Laurent Metro Station. And I think I'll be ending up there maybe in about two hours or so. I'm planning on walking up north through the Le Plateau. And then taking the subway back. And 
this is Boulevard de Maisonneuve. There's a large outdoor skating rink just over there. I'm going to try to record that later in a future video. There's a look at the metro station. Looks like there's a bit of an uphill climb just up ahead. And if you're curious about seeing more Montreal walks, there's an excellent channel that's run by a guy who goes by the name G Corb. He has certainly covered the city quite extensively. There's a place called the Catacombs. There's a green light, but the hand just does say zero on it. And we have found Ontario Street. And despite the sidewalks being so bad, the bike lane doesn't look all that terrible. Fire truck in action. So back in the early to mid 1900s, this corridor was heavily populated by Jewish settlers. I think it was around the 1930s and 40s that Chinatown sprang to life. There's an interesting looking place, Cafe Eva B. You don't see too much of this in Toronto. These security screens out in front of the retail stores. So coming up at some point on the right will be the famous Schwartz's Deli. And there you'll be able to grab a classic Montreal smoked meat sandwich. That appears to be a comedy venue. Ha 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 dot com.
So you'll notice this is a one-way street. You know? Yeah, I do. And I think there's another southbound one-way street. So if you're taking the bus, you'd head north up St. Laurent. And I think it's St. Urban or Urbane. Again, I do not speak French. Look at that bike. <laughs> and this is Sherbrooke coming up. Just to the north of here is known as a bit of a bar and a nightlife district between Sherbrooke and Duluth. And I think it would cost you $350 to hop on that bus. That is it for the stretch along the Arts and Entertainment District. And gas here is 162.9. The Petite Grenouille. One thing you see a whole lot less here in Toronto are chain stores. Your typical fast food chains. And they seem to have a lot more cafes. Some double mural action. I actually saw a third mural. Quite the snow pile over there. They certainly get a lot more of the white stuff than we do.
And I thought there used to be one on that wall. And Montreal is famous for its bagels. So this is Prince Arthur. That's an interesting pedestrian way. So that place I went to last night must be a chain. There's another one, La Belle Province. So someone correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I think this is part of Le Plateau, the popular neighborhood. a vape store. Maybe I got that wrong. Orange cups. They were coming from an A and W. Burger Bros. There's a bike lane in better shape than most of them in Toronto would be right now. Montreal is often referred to as the bicycle capital of North America. And I think there's over 700 kilometers of bike tracks here. You can see part of Mont Royal off in the distance there. 
where the street I'm heading to takes its name from. This is a very long crossing. Cars got the green. Be curious to see how long that took. And there's what I wanted to get a look at. I was just standing too close to it on that side. And the famous Schwartz's should be coming up. It's a Dollarama, which I think actually originated in Quebec. It's nice how that guy <laughs> just stopped what he was doing in the middle of the sidewalk. I wonder if this place here, Maison de Bittec, a smoked meat sandwich serving deli does well considering they're right across the street. Probably the most renowned place to get a smoked meat sandwich, probably in the entire world, is the original Schwartz's. 93 years. I know when Action Kid was in town, he went there. Oh, it was pretty busy inside. It is not quite lunchtime yet for me. <laughs> And they have a takeout location. 
More street murals. And what's yeah, interesting is to the north of here on St. Laurent is Jerry Park. And that is where the Montreal Expos originally played. I won't be making it that far in this one. They played there from 1969 to 1976, then they moved into Olympic Stadium. That was only to be their temporary home anyways. I think it sat around 28,000 people. So this is Duluth, where the bar district comes to an end, apparently. a furniture retailer, so Montreal must be coming up pretty soon. Okay, this is Rachel Street. So I am familiar with where I am now. Montreal should just be to the north of here. And in the next walk I'm planning on doing, I'll be checking out part of Rachel Street.
there's someone jogging. They must be pretty sure-footed. And I think I might have missed one of the Leonard Cohen murals. Parque do Portugal. I believe little Portugal is right around here. And to the northeast. I think that's where you'll find little Italy. That guy was walking pretty close to me. I didn't want to be the reason he was slowing down. And they have an EQ3. They have one of those right at King East and Sherburne. This is anecdotal, but there also seems to be less Timmies here in Montreal. But looky here, it is Avenue du Mont Royal. I have completed the mission. Name this as it leads straight up to Mount Royal. Let me put my camera on zoom. And quite awesomely, is that a word? Awesomely? In that direction, I guess you can't really see it, but at or uh, Olympic Stadium. You can just see the rooftop there. Sits. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this walk from Chinatown, walking through a ver variety of different neighborhoods here in Montreal, up to Mont Royal Avenue along St. Laurent. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Spare your criticisms of my French. I am well aware 
<laughs> I'm not very good at the language, but I'm certainly the furthest thing. I'm a tour guide or expert on this beautiful city. And I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides, and I have a TikTok account at Johnny Strides as well. And there's a super thanks button if you wish to say that way, or say thanks that way, up here and below the video. I don't know what that is saying. Anywho, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink.